Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the topic of mining various kinds of association rules in the subject of data mining. So basically in this video, we will see what are the different kinds of association rules we have and how do we mine them. Basically, you know what is an association and what is an association rule. I've explained about that in the FP growth video, right? Sorry, not FP growth, FP market basket analysis video. So, while mining association rules, you'll have different rules like you'll have multi-dimensional, you'll have multi-level, okay, you will have quantitative, you will have statistical, so many types of association rules you will have. How you will be mining those kind of rules, let us learn now, okay. First is mining multi level so actually we have four types we are going to discuss about four types okay in the first one only we have subtypes in the next we don't have any subtypes don't worry mining multi level association rules see what do you mean by multi level so data mining systems have to be uh, they should be able to mine different levels of association they, they should be able to mine association rules at multiple levels of abstraction got it and that too with the ability to move fastly among different different levels suppose you are having five levels of abstraction then the data mining system which you are using must be able to mine the data at each and every level of abstraction and it has to be able to move between each and every level easily and fastly got it that is what it means multi-level association rules is nothing but multiple levels of abstraction it has to be able to mine and it has to move between different levels easily and quickly got it and you can do that by using uniform support for all levels which means that you will be supporting um, you will be setting up a minimum support 30 percent or 40 percent or so for each and every for all the levels okay for all the five levels you will be setting up a minimum support level that will be same for all the levels okay so you will be setting up a minimum support and you will using use any algorithm like a priori algorithm or frequent pattern algorithm or any uh, algorithm and you will be eliminating those um, you know data items whose support is less than the minimum support got it like that you can do that is first you have to set up a uniform support to all the levels which is same for all the levels and then what you have to do is you have to use any algorithm by using a priori algorithm we will be eliminating those data items whose minimum support is less whose support is less than the value of minimum support that which we have set up okay and in the second step what you do reduced minimum support at lower levels what do you mean means uh, each level of abstraction will have different minimum support here we will be set up in different different minimum uh, support levels for each level based on the level or based on the priority or based on the importance which lower levels will be given lower minimum support okay and even after giving less amount of minimum support also if lower levels are not able to satisfy it we can remove those lower levels okay next here you're using the same support uniform support that is same for all the levels but here for lower levels you will be reducing the minimum support value that's all using item or group based minimum support so here what you will do is based on the importance of that item if that item is very important you will be giving it um, less priority less support or more support like that based on the importance of the item you will be giving the support and based on that support you will be eliminating the values that is about using item or group based minimum support based on the item or importance or the group of items importance you will be mining the data okay next mining multi-dimensional association rules from relational database or data warehouse that is from relational database is nothing but rdbms that is from tables data warehouse is nothing but you know about data warehouse large and large amounts of data will be there and that too you are mining multi-dimensional association rules multi-dimensional association rules means see each attribute will be considered as a each dimension or each group will be considered as a dimension so you will have many dimensions got it when you are mining this kind of data what you have to do is each attribute each attribute is considered as a predicate predicate is nothing but a rule you can say or you can say like a, a 
shopkeeper is buying something so buy is a predicate you are selling something sell is a predicate you are cleaning something clean is a predicate so whatever task is being involved that is a predicate okay so what you will be doing is each attribute will be considered as a predicate and you will be doing the mining that's all in rdbms or in data warehouse that's all that is what you can write here each attribute is considered as a predicate and for predicate you can write this example and then data is mined got it next mining multi dimensional association rules using static disc static discretization of quantitative attributes so first let us go in the reverse way Con quantitative attributes is nothing but numerical attributes okay so for numerical attributes you will be using the static discretization static discretization is nothing but you will be dividing it into intervals static is nothing but manually on your own according to our comfortable uh, comfort we will be dividing okay so you will be dividing it into multi dimensional association rules are divided into intervals by using static methods that is manually we will be doing next is a fourth one mining quantitative association rules by dynamic discretization so same as above but instead of static you will have dynamic got it dynamic in the sense according to the requirement the computer itself or the system itself will do we need not manually do anything okay this is more efficient when compared to the above one and this is more uh, efficient in case of large data sets this will not work in case of large data sets only for small data sets the third one will work that is the static one the fourth one is also same as the third but only difference is instead of static you will be doing it dynamically that's all nothing new got it now here this uh, fourth one that is the dynamic discretization you will be doing with the help of binning okay by using the methods like binning and all you will be doing it that's all very small very short video very simple video the thing is you have to remember so simple multi level association rules multi dimensional association rules two types we have in multi level we have again three like you can we have three solutions for that in case of multi dimensional we have three cases so first one is multi dimensional association rules for relational databases or data warehouses second is by using multi dimensional association rules for quantitative attributes in that quantitative attributes also you have two things static and dynamic like this you can remember okay so this is all about this video mining various kinds of association rules multi level multi dimensional in multi dimensional we have again two one is for relational databases and one is for uh, quantitative attributes in quantitative attributes also we have two one is static and one is dynamic totally we have four like that you can remember okay this is about this video in the next video i'll be explaining about correlation analysis and so on uh, the videos will be followed thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure if i can thanks for watching the video till the end